Hello. Hello. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, all. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Any class is going on? All of you. Any class is going on? Just ended. Just ended. Just ended. So what we had done previous class? What up? De Morgan's law. De Morgan's laws. We have completed the example. Everything. Huh? De Morgan's laws. So today we'll go for some important equivalence. Right on. Some important equivalence. Some important equivalence. columns okay one side equivalence another side name So write down in the following equivalences. All of you write down first in your copy. In the following equivalences. In the following equivalences, capital T denotes the compound proposition that is always true. Capital T denotes the compound proposition that is always true. And capital F denotes the compound proposition that is always false. Now could you repeat? In the following equivalences, capital T denotes the compound proposition that is always true and capital F denotes the compound proposition that is always false. Okay. Yes, one point. So write down. First is identity laws. Identity laws. Identity laws. P and T. It is equivalent to P. P or F. It is equivalent to Yes, ma'am. Then 
domination laws next one is domination laws domination laws p or t p or t it is equivalent to t p and f it is equivalent to next is idempotent laws idempotent laws p or p it is equivalent to p p and p is equivalent to Yes, ma'am. Next is negation laws. Negation laws. P or negation P. P or negation P, it is equivalent to T. P and negation P, it is equivalent to F. Double negation law. Double negation law. Negation of negation of p is equivalent to p okay now could you scroll up one here yeah. yes okay thank you Then commutative laws. Commutative laws. Commutative laws P or Q it is equivalent to Q or P. P and Q it is equivalent to Q and P. Then associative laws. Associative laws. P or Q. 
P or Q or R. It is equivalent to P or Q or R. P and Q and R. It is equivalent to P and Q and R. associative laws. Next is absorption laws. Absorption laws P or P and Q it is equivalent to P or P and Q it is equivalent to P. P and P or Q. It is equivalent to P. Next is distributive laws. Distributive laws. Distributive laws. P or Q and R. P or Q and R. It is equivalent to P or Q, P or Q, and P or Q, P or Q and R. It is equivalent to P or Q and P or R, P or R. Then P and Q or R, P and Q or R. It is equivalent to P and Q or P and R. Distributive laws. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Next is last one is De Morgan's laws. You know De Morgan's laws. Last one is that De Morgan's laws. Negation of negation of P and Q. It is equivalent to negation P or negation Q. Negation of P or Q it is equivalent to negation P and negation Q. Can you please scroll up? Here. Yes, ma'am, done. Okay. Next, write down. Some more logical equivalences.
some more logical equivalences. First one, right. P implies Q. It is equivalent to P implies Q. It is equivalent to negation P or Q. Second one. P or Q. It is equivalent to Negation P implies Q. Third one. P and Q. It is equivalent to negation of P implies negation of Q. Negation of P implies Q is equivalent to Negation of P implies Q is equivalent to P and Negation Q. Could you please scroll up a bit? Scroll up. Here. Ah, more. More? Yes, ma'am. To one and two. Yes, ma'am. And ma'am. Like, like this. Negation of P implies Q is equivalent to P and negation Q. Completed. Yes, ma'am. Right. P implies Q and P implies R. one P implies Q and P implies R it is equivalent to P implies Q and R P implies Q and R okay. P implies R and Q implies R is equivalent to P implies R and Q implies R is equivalent to P or Q implies R. Hello. Okay. Seventh one. P double implication skew. It is equivalent to P implies skew and U implies. P 
the double implication q is equivalent to negation p implies negation p double implications negation of q p double implications q it is equivalent to p and q or negation p and negation q negation of p double implication q is equivalent to p double implication negation of q these are just some more logical equivalences if you want you can check whether these two compound propositions are equivalent or not using the truth table Yes, ma'am. Next, later on. Well, fun formula. Well formed. A proposition formula, right on a proposition formula A proposition formula is said to be well formed, is said to be well formed. A proposition formula is said to be well formed formula. You can tell it's said to be well formed formula. Well formed formula. If it has the if it has the following properties. The following properties. If it has the following properties. Okay. First one. Every atomic proposition, uno atomic proposition, every atomic proposition is well formed formula. Is well formed formula. Every atomic proposition okay, completed. Hello, you. Yes, ma'am. Every atomic proposition is well formed formula. Second one, if P 
P. P is the proposition, huh? If P is well-formed formula, well-formed formula, you can tell. If P is well-formed formula, then negation P, then negation P, then negation P is also well-formed formula. Also well-formed formula. Can you understand this one or I will write? Matao? Understood now. Sort for no? well-formed formula. If P is the P is the proposition which is well-formed formula, then negation P will also be well-formed formula. And what is atomic proposition? Atomic proposition. That I have told starting better. Atomic proposition. Any single statement. Any single proposition. Suppose I will tell you the earth is spherical. Okay. Or I will tell you Rama is going to market. Okay. Every atomic proposition. But a single sentence. Single proposition. Which one? Understood? Okay. Single proposition. That is called the atomic proposition. And if we combine the atomic propositions using the logical operators and or then it will be compound proposition. Completed then third one. If P and Q are well-formed formula if p and q are well-formed formula then p or q p and q and p implies q are well formed formula are well formed formula can you scroll up please Nothing else is well-formed formula. Okay, nothing else. Is. Except those things, nothing else is well-formed formula. Yes, sir. And right. See, except your atomic proposition and other two things. One, two, three. Others, nothing is well found formula. So, what do we do now? We use rules of precedence. Rules of precedence to convert. If a formula is not well-formed, we can convert 
that formula to well form formula by using the rules of precedence. Okay, so write down rules of precedence. If a given formula is not well formed formula, is not well formed formula, then we can convert. Then we can convert it into a well-formed formula. Well-formed formula by using by using the order of precedence by using the order of Residence of logical operators of logical operators which is as follows which is as follows somebody wants to tell something which is as follows. Some could scroll up for a second. Oh, yeah, here. Bolo, Amitav. Yes, 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 ma'am. Just a second. Yes, ma'am, done. Computer. Yes, yes. If a given formula is not well formed formula, then we can convert it into a well formed formula by using. The order of precedence of logical operators, which is as follows. So, do two columns. First is operators. Operators. Second one is precedence. First, is, first logical operator is negation. Negation precedence is 1. Okay. Then, and. And get 2. Like uh, one, uh, you have read, all of you, uh, in uh, your school level, Dimas rule, Badmas rule. Have you read it? Have you read there or not? Yes, of, okay. What was the Dimas rule? Division, multiplication, addition, subtraction. Okay. Which one will be first? Bata, which one will be first? Division. 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 Okay. Like that, here see, operators, your negation operator that is having precedence 1. So it will be used first. Get it? I will show you in the example first to write negation and then uh, or both the or huh? both the ors inclusive or and exclusive or both have three then the Conditional statement implication that is four. Then double implications that is five. 
I'll use it. I will tell you how to use this letter. Rules of precedence, I told first, later on it will be used, so I will tell you then. Clear all of you? Why this rules of precedence is used? To convert a non well fund formula to well fund formula. Yeah, all of you. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So next class we'll go over all these things. How to check one formula is well found formula or not, or functionally complete or other things. Huh? Have you any class after this? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Digital electronics. Digital electrons, DC. Yes, ma'am. Probably statistics you completed. Probably statistics today we don't have class. We met at three o'clock. Oh, three o'clock. You don't have practical classes? Oh, not today. Not today. When you are joining campus, all of you. Hmm, what else? Ah, uh, man, what are you asking? When you are joining the campus. Thirteen. Uh, I'm from thirteen. Ah, uh, reporting is from thirteen. Yes, ma'am. Reporting is thirteen and fourteen. Two days, ma'am. Hmm. Ma'am, so before that, there will be a break, right? A few days, a few days, a few days. वो तो Some student had uh, come before? Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma then it's uh, comfortable for them. Those who are joining new, they have to adjust for some time. Nay? Yes, ma'am. I'll have to respond to rolls. 5007. Present, ma'am. Five one three eight. Present, ma'am. One seven one. Present, ma'am. Two three seven. Present, ma'am. Two seven three. Present, ma'am. Three zero eight. Three zero eight. Five three four. Present, ma'am. Six two two. Present, ma'am. Six five two. Present, ma'am. Seven six eight. Present, ma'am. 1053. Present, ma'am. 1158. Rasbir. Rasbir always late. 274. Present, ma'am. 510. Present, ma'am. 533. Present, ma'am. 561. 561. 565. Asita, 565. 581. Present, ma'am. 596. 596. Suti. Ma'am, she's present. 598. Present, ma'am. 599. Present, ma'am. 617. Present, ma'am. 746. Present, ma'am. 
अभिनव टू फोर टू टू फाइव जीरो प्रेजेंट मैम थ्री थ्री सिक्स प्रेजेंट मैम थ्री फोर जीरो प्रेजेंट मैम थ्री फोर फाइव प्रेजेंट मैम थ्री फोर सिक्स प्रेजेंट मैम थ्री सिक्स टू प्रेजेंट मैम थ्री सिक्स एट थ्री सिक्स एट थ्री एट टू प्रेजेंट मैम थ्री एट थ्री प्रेजेंट मैम थ्री फोर टू फाइव प्रेजेंट मैम मैम थ्री एट मैम थ्री फोर टू प्रेजेंट मैम मैम वन सेकेंड थ्री जीरो एट थ्री जीरो एट एबसेंट फाइव वन फाइव एट दस बीर एबसेंट Then five six one five six five. Present ma'am five six one five six five. Okay. Then seven nine two seven nine nine. Eight six four. Absent two four six two two four six. Two six four nine. Then three two four two. Present ma'am. Three three six eight. Present ma'am. Thank you ma'am. Okay, thank you all.